Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a PS4 or Xbox One controller on iOS 13. Now, I'm currently using the beta, so this is just a test run of it, so not all the games are supported. Now, normally, once iOS 13 is finally released, all you would have to do is go into the App Store, and then you would go into the arcade section, then you'll have all the arcade games that are compatible with PS4 and Xbox One controllers. Now, also, before I start this video, you can only use one controller at a time, uh, so you can't use a Xbox One controller and a PS4 controller at the same time, and there's no support for two controllers at the same time. Uh, albeit a PS4 controller and a PS4 controller or an Xbox One controller and another Xbox One controller. Uh, so without further ado, what we can do is just go ahead and hook up that PS4 controller uh, to that uh, iPad. Now this is not limited just to iPads, but it also does work on iPhones. Even if you have the oldest iPhone that runs iOS 13, you can link your PS4 or Xbox One controller to it. So it's iPhone, iPad, uh, even iPod Touch. As long as your device can run iOS 13, you can use a PS4 or Xbox One controller. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is actually go on into settings. And then once you're in settings, you're going to go to Bluetooth and you're going to tap on it. And then what I'm going to do is simply uh, press forget on my controller. So it's a fresh start. So I could just press forget this device. And then here I have my controller. So on a PS4 controller, all you have to do is tap and hold on the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. You'll see that it's finally in pair mode and it should be flashing and flickering like that. Uh, so now if you take a look and we go ahead and zoom on in, you'll see that it'll say DualShock 4 wireless controller. Uh, so now all you have to do is just simply tap on it and then it should connect soon. So now you can see it's red and it's connected now. So now you can see that the DualShock 4 wireless controller is officially connected. So now what we can do is go into any game that supports it. So I know that Fortnite supports it, also Real Racing 3 supports it. So we can go into Real Racing 3 and get into a classic racing game. So now what we can do is head on into a race. So uh, here we go. So you can see the race is starting up. And we can get into position. And we can go on the outside and cut a few people off. And now we're already in first place, so we can uh, make our lead. Now there's nothing like a iPad racing game. Uh, it brings back a lot of good memories and especially on a 12.9 inch screen, it just seems very fitting. So now I can see that the race is complete and we got first, just like that. Uh, so now you can see that uh, having the controller is a huge advantage, of course, instead of using the accelerometer and moving the iPad side to side or using on-screen controls, you can see that there's a big difference. So uh, it's really fun using the iPad, especially the bigger iPad, the 12.9 inch screen, combined with a PS4 DualShock controller. Uh, there's nothing to complain about, really. And I really do like that Apple added this in. Now we don't need to use a jailbreak or anything like that. We just have it built into the software. Uh, so that's what Apple will continue to do to enhance uh, their iOS software. So that is the extent of the usability of a controller uh, in iOS 13. So the real racing game is definitely one of the best examples. So thank you for this video on how to use a PS4 or Xbox One controller uh, on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch on iOS 13. Please be sure to subscribe to this video. Please smash the like button down below so know you watched. Also be sure to check out all of my other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out AppleCritics.com for this Apple News user and more. Like my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash AppleCritics. And follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash AppleCritics.
And also be sure to follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash applecritics. And thanks for watching.